Surf City, here we come. We're in Santa Cruz, California for the 2017 Masters Cup presented by Innova Dis. You found us here on Spin TV. I'm your host, Jamie Thomas, joined by the one and only Ian Anderson. Welcome back, buddy. How's it going, guys? Thanks for having me on. We had to team up with CCDG. You saw us in Vegas. We brought them back. We're here at De La Viega. And this is a really exciting feature card we have for the first round. Yeah, great course, great players. Can't wait to watch it. And the feature card this afternoon is going to be your AM weekend winner, Thomas Tomaselli. See him putting right there. Along with Manabu Kajiyama from Japan, the defending champion, Ricky Waisaki, and the return of Josh Anton. The world of disc golf has awaited this man to get back on the course and see how he stacks up against today's competition. And I can't wait to show you what we found out. I'm getting some chills getting ready to watch this, Jamie. Jumping right on in. Hole one. Yeah. Big, Ian, tell us about this. Big uphill hole, double mando on those big trees left and right. You got to keep it high, but not too high because that ceiling. And um, they got those little kind of earth retainers. Really, really stop any skip shots if they're too low. Yeah, definitely happy to see the club out here putting in that erosion containment and uh, the one benefit the players will have is it's a kind of fast fairway, so that mm -hmm. low ceiling shot, you can reward yourself with a nice skippy disc and try to get to that top tier. Yeah. Leading off, Mr. Tomaselli. Yeah. Welcome rip. to the feature card. Pretty good looking rip. Oh. Not a bad place to be at all. Yeah, just about six inches is too low to get that skip you're talking about up to the basket. The returning champ, Ricky Wysocki. He's taking the popular gap. A lot of these guys like that right side, mm -hmm. but you do have to contend with that tree right there. Yeah, he got a nasty kick right there. Josh Anton throwing his star X Cal. And that's a pure line. Yep. You know, outside the circle, but you have a clean look. Yep. Matabu. Looks like he's throwing the D4, the D1. That might be the D4, actually. Whatever what? he threw, whatever he threw, that's where you need to throw it. Jamie, I cut my teeth on Dela. I've been filming Dela a long time. I've never seen a better drive than that on one from from Manabu. Unbelievable. Can't do a whole lot better than that because I've never heard of an ace. Yeah. And oh, Rick. Oh, early in the round, getting Dela to right on one. Didn't waste any time. You know, one of the phrases that everybody says about this course is she can show her teeth at any time. Oh, yeah. <laughs> The defending champ has to deal with it early. Yep, didn't waste any. There's Josh just up in for an easy par. Uh, Thomas has got to look, Jamie, but he, he's not close. Yeah, a valiant bid there, um, but that's just, that's a tough look, and you don't want to push it. Yeah, you really don't. Uh, there's Rick with his three. He's going to have to settle for a bogey. Um, a returning champ off to a little rough start here. Yeah, it's not like a guy like Ricky needs more motivation, but this might just fuel the fire a little bit here. <laughs> I can see that for sure. Uh, there's Josh clean up a par, Thomas as well. And uh, are they going to let uh, Manabu touch his disc ever? Yeah. <laughs> One of the first to throw, last to tap out. Yep. Always a good feeling. Doing work right there. Unbelievable. Great birdie on one, getting off to a strong start. Mm-hmm. It's really good to see him touring a little bit. We yeah. saw him in Australia. That was an uh, unexpected nice surprise to see him out here, Jamie. I didn't know I was coming. Little love <laughs> from Ricky there. He knows what it takes to get a deuce on the first hole. Yep, he's done it before. I've seen it. Absolutely. We'll yeah. be right back, guys. Cool to hear from the champ. Thoughts about coming back? Yeah, really appreciate his time. Yeah. Moving right on to hole two. Yeah, big old uphill, kind of dog legs left, straightens out, and then the real feature with this one is probably one of the scariest baskets out here at daylight. It's right on the edge of a cliff. But On a course known for fast greens, this is one of the fastest. Yeah. And don't let that distance fool you. 288 feet. Oh my God. Maybe as the crow flies, but you know, you're going to see guys with wide rim drivers trying to get up this mm -hmm. hill. Yeah, it's like, I want to say 450, 500 feet of power on a hyzer line to, to get it there. And then you don't want to go long, guys. 
Uh, Manny Booth taking the box after that birdie on one, Jamie. Let's see if you can keep it going. That's kind of the line, Jamie, just a little bit high. Yeah, he elected for the high route and uh, also a little bit deep of the gap. So yeah, it works. still cut out for him. Mm -hmm. Thomas is going to take your uh, flex forehand line, which I really, if you're going to park it, I, I feel like this is the shot for it. And this is what you gain in knowledge for being a local. This mm -hmm. is a local aggressive shot. Uh, it totally is. Um, bit unfortunate in the skip down the hill, but should be an easy par at least. Yeah, but hello, Thomas Tomaselli. Yeah. That's a big forehand <laughs> no, you, right there. Yeah, the kid has an arm, no doubt. Uh, Josh is going back to that X-Cal again. Plays a pretty tight little low. Um, yeah. yeah, he was going for the more traditional yeah. backhand line, definitely. Yeah, I see Rick, no stranger to the forehand. I believe he's got one of his felons out right now. Pretty beat in one. Oh, just needed to beat that tree, Jamie. Yeah, you know, before it rounded that corner, I thought that was going to be good. But, you know, that tree is well placed. Mm -hmm. And you were talking about that scary green, fast green, Jamie. Uh, it just got Manabu right there. Yeah, and he hasn't played here since 2008. Yeah. So, uh, you know, little welcome back present from Dale there. Yep. And Josh with just a perfect upshot, which you're so happy on this hole. <laughs> yeah, and deft touch with the putter, yep. you know. So Rick, Rick thought about lining this one up and then... Smart play. He just, he got smart. It's the first round. Yep. You don't want to have that memory coming back tomorrow. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, what did I do in the first round? Why uh -huh. did I do that? Yeah, you could be 80 feet down that hill if you go along. There is a, was that Thomas, I believe, pitching out? Yeah. Yeah, good ground play there mm -hmm. by the AM champ. Yep. And Manabu from just a couple feet left to where Thomas was. A uh, really similar look. And he's forced to do the same. And he has that stroke to give, you know, getting aggressive on that first hole. Yep. Allowed him to take that risk and, you know, try to keep foot on the gas early. Yep. There's Thomas uh, clean up his par. After Rick did the same. Manabu with the bogey. And Josh with a, a routine par, which you're not you're not sad about a par on this one. No, I'd be I'd be happy with a four on that hole. So <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm sure they're okay with a par on it. Yeah, you can run into trouble real quick right there. Uh, Rick, the only one over par, surprisingly. Um, everyone else hanging around even. Uh, taking us to hole three. It's one you want to get, Jamie. It's it's just right there. It's a downhill hole. It's very reachable for pretty much any arm out here. Um, yeah, not a ton of trouble. Yeah, as a lefty myself, this is the first one oh, yeah. when I come out here that I feel like I can really attack. <laughs> that yep. outside line is open. You'll also see a lot of people take a mid-range uh, right up the gut. Yeah. So you just have to contend with these trees guarding the basket, but there's enough gap where you're oftentimes putting. Yep. I like this hole for the different uh, variety of lines you can use. Yeah. Just uh, don't go right. Just don't go right. Yep. Big old cliff. Uh, Thomas going with the Sexton Firebird. Hanging out a little wide here, Jamie. Just a little kicked over. Yeah. He's uh, finished pin high, as you can see right here. Um, he's going to have a, a long putt, though. Josh Anton with the uh, Champion Rock 3. Almost got it, Jamie. Yeah, it's tough. Uh, you know, I wonder what the wind was doing. It looks a little bit swirly on film here. Yeah. A little bit left to right. I think that Annie kind of just drifted on him. Uh, Rick goes with a forehand. He's good at those. That's great. Yeah. You know, a little unfortunate on the skip there. You don't expect a shot at that angle to skip backwards. Yeah. Um, but, you know, or I guess forwards, mm -hmm. down downhill. Manabu with a D4 forehand. I did not know he had that forehand, Jamie. Wow, that's <laughs> maybe the first one I've seen from him, but I always get in trouble when I say it's the first time I see forehands. Uh, yeah. Because then they throw five more. Uh, <laughs> that was a legit look, though. Uh, Thomas, he kind of just had a safe bid for, for two, going to be taking a par. Here is Josh running this with a great-looking gap, and he jumped in front of him, but hit the front of the cage just, yeah. like, three inches low. And I've been a fan of saying that, Josh was Ricky before Ricky was Ricky, yeah. oh, so I expected that to go I, in. I did too, yeah. No, you're 100% right in that statement. Uh, Manabu was coming back for the birdie after Ricky nailed his. And he hasn't parred yet. That's true, huh? <laughs> he's, been, he's been doing things, good and bad things. 
There's Thomas cleaning up his par. And uh, gentleman Josh is right here. He's waiting for them to drive on six before he chains out. Etiquette. Right? Gotta love it. Dude, on point right there. Look at this. Oh, my God. Oh, I get a real good look at his grip right there. Yeah, he has one of the most unique he does. forms yeah. in disc golf, you know. He almost has that uh, kind of twinkle toes, Fred Flintstone bowling. <laughs> oh, I love that, man. <laughs> it's awesome. Oh, it gets me every time. But he's, he can crush him, people. Uh, we're on to hole four. I want to say the probably the second toughest hole out here, Jamie. Uh, kind of a sweeping left, cliff on the right, tons of trees in the fairway. If you can call it that, um, it's, it's trouble most of the time. Yeah, if this course were designed, uh, you know, 15 years later than it was, this would be a par four. Yeah. It's a par three because everything at De La is considered a par three. <laughs> yep. Um, but if a three feels like a birdie here. It sure does. Uh, popular shot here is a forehand roller. I believe Rick's throwing the uh, criminal on this one. He gets it down, and that's a good safe angle. If you want to miss, you want to miss left. Yeah, be out to the left in the grass. And I will say it's a little bit easier this year. They built a new tee pad that, you know, doesn't quite pinch mm -hmm. the angle off as much as it did. Oh, that's true. Uh, so that left side safe zone is a little more accessible to these players. Mm -hmm. uh, there is an, a backhand air shot. If you can fight through this gap right there, which Manabu missed by, by like three feet, but fought through a little bit. Yeah. Ended up. Okay. Got to give a shout out to uh, Hannah Leatherman. Uh -huh. which, um, showing her and her husband Dustin some of the lines on this hole and just uh, she was pure in that air shot gap. She's accurate, that man. That backhand was on point. Nice. Uh, Thomas with the forehand roller, but he left it out right. That is going to be a very tough look from over there. Uh, Josh Anton ran, lining up another backhand line with his X-Cal. That needs to be an X-Cal. Yeah, it's x -caling. And he's not going to see a finish, but he finished just long of the pin, Jamie. Wow. Just yeah. no fear on that shot. No. Just trust that disc to work. So here's Thomas throwing his zone, I believe, and maybe decent headway down there. Um, but that's a tough look right there. Manabu. Great line. Just yeah. a little speedy. Yep. Yeah, it's a really fast green, this hard pan. Uh, Rick going to take a little forehand into the green here. He finished pretty much pin high left. That's a par for Rick. Yeah, easily in his range. Uh -huh. uh, there's Thomas just playing smart, laying up for a four. And Josh coming back for a birdie. I was filming this, and I had a panic attack. I was like, I didn't film his upshot. And I was like, oh, wait, that was his drive. <laughs> <laughs> there is no upshot. No, when you're that good. But unfortunately, misses the birdie, but he'll make a, an easy par, which he'll take on this hole every single time. If given the opportunity, Manabu coming back for his par. Center, heart of the basket. Well done. That was a drop in bogey for Thomas, and here is Josh coming back for his par. I'm still thinking about that X-Cal shot. That's a, yeah. I've seen that's that a really aggressive line. Yeah, Nico throws that too. I've seen him pure that one before too. Yeah, it's it's a really cool line if you can hit it, um, but not many people can. Yeah, just even to have a look for two on that hole, you know, he's coming out swinging. Mm -hmm. He's, you know, not taking it easy, you know, foot on the gas right out of the gate. Yeah. And here's another one that definitely is attackable on a hyzer for those righties. Yeah, it is. 318 plays 450, 500, just throw a giant hyzer over these bushes. There is, if, if you've got a, a beast forehand roller, it's there. Dylan Evans throws it on the reg. Uh, I saw Dylan's forehand, De La Local, great all around guy, and just, yep. he was up by the mandatories on one. Yeah, I saw that too. Uh, Rick throwing the hyzer, and Ricky White's hockey problems is going long on that hole. And I'll tell you what, the level of the game, you know it's going up every year because we didn't used to see guys overthrow this pin. No, very true. And just between, you know, strength training and disc technology, this hole is just getting easier and easier. Yeah, it's it's almost a routine, a routine too for the top of the field, you know? Yeah. They expect to get this one. I mean, Monobu just bullseyed the tree right there, and that's going to give him a putt. Mm-hmm. And uh, <laughs> Josh right into the collection bowl there. Yep, he knows what he's doing right there. Uh, Thomas going to try and keep up with the big boys. He's got the arm for it. I think he's throwing his boss here, but didn't get it high enough, Jamie. Yeah, no doubt. He has the arm. Uh, he has the confidence. Very well-spoken kid. Just uh, 
needs to get the experience, and you can't get better experience than this card right here. <laughs> now this is it right here. Uh, Rick is coming back for his two after Thomas kind of laid it for the par. There's a Rick putt right there. Yeah, doesn't classic Rick. He doesn't miss putts. Manabu, no way he's missing this one. Well done. Really impressed with his putting today. He was. I'm impressed with his everything. Yeah, that, I, I mean, <laughs> granted, we don't get to see him a whole lot. Yeah. Uh, Japan doesn't have quite as big of a scene as we do, but getting him on film, you know, at two different tournaments this year. Yeah. Can't say it enough. Love to see him on camera. Manabu, come around more. He is a fun watch, no doubt, man. I was, I was, first time I'm filming, I'm really stoked. Slow mo, Ricky staring down the chain. Uh, so you can see that focus, Jamie. That's yeah. what it is. That's he, what makes putts go in. He's got one link vision there. He he's does. just looking for that single link he wants to hit. And uh, scores are pretty tight. Manabu out in front. Mm -hmm. Aim small, miss small, right, Jamie? You got it. That's what I say. A whole six. We're going 417 downhill. Danger here is that OB right behind the basket, Jamie. Yeah, another one of the holes at De La where the distance belies the power you need to throw. Yeah. This probably plays in the 340 range, I would say. Yeah. Um, you know, these guys could throw out of bounds with a mid-range. So they're going to choose to, you know, let off of the fairway driver like Rick is here. Yeah, I think he's throwing a felon right here, and uh, that, was, that was pretty good. Just smooth. Yeah. Great shot. Manabu, I believe he's going M1 right here. And there's some trouble over on the right there. Oh, and he oh. just clears that out of bounds. Clears OB and short of the other OB. What are the chances that sticks right there? Just a slim little piece of earth. And that, uh, <laughs> he'll have an opportunity for birdie. Wow. Uh, Josh throwing the big hyzer line, which I like a lot. Gets that distance, distance control over the mid-range shot. Absolutely. And that's the small gap, you know, throwing it between the tree and the telephone pole there. Mm -hmm. uh, Thomas Tomaselli. Throw on the KC rock, I believe. It's definitely a rock. Flies like a rock. Yeah, it did fly like a rock. It flew a little too much like a rock. <laughs> Just bounced off that new tree protection. Uh huh. And for being close, he's got a really tough upshot with that OB trench between him and the basket. Makes decent work of it there. Mm -hmm. Happy little bounce past the rope. Manabu for a two. Well done. These are three really good drives, Jamie. Absolutely. And you hear the cheers in the background. Oh, One of yeah. the ladies in FPO just nailed like an 80-footer to what finish her round. It oh. was great. <laughs> I wonder what that was. And Josh, concentrate through it all. And right. Did nailed the putt anyway. Zero percent phased. Uh, Thomas got to clean up a good par after that drive. That upshot was really nice. Yeah, that's you, you don't oftentimes find yourself having to take a, a straddle-out knee on hole six. So no, you don't. You'll take a par every time there. Uh -huh. Man, we a little am side, but low enough it stayed in. Hey, no pictures on the scorecard, <laughs> just on the commentary video. Yeah, but speaking of that scorecard, he's leading it with a three down. Uh, we're taking us to hole seven, Jamie. So pretty flat for the first 150, then the next 250s downhill, pinching fairway, hard pan, cliff behind the basket. You're going to have a really tough upshot on this, sh this hole if you don't get close. Yeah, this is... Another, I mean, I feel like I'll say this often, but this is one of the scariest greens on yeah. this course. Oh, yeah. That downhill grade that's fast and past that little shelf past the basket, mm -hmm. you know, you're an unplayable lie down there. Yeah, you're, you're going for a serious climb. Oh, Ooh, wow. That was a straight shank, Jamie. Um, it kicked pretty well, though, actually. It, yeah. It stayed on a hyzer. Oh, he, he flashed the rings on that kick there? Yeah, it finished, it finished pretty much straight forward to the tree, amazingly. Uh, Manabu hanging out. That's that's a good shot. The lesser of two evils. Uh -huh. You know, play. There's jail on both sides of the basket, but you'd rather be left than right. Mm -hmm. uh, Anton throwing his C E E or leopard, sorry, and finishes short right. But he's got to look at it. It's going to be a scary run, as is most on this hole. Yeah, benefit of uh, maybe one of the unintended benefits of not playing very much the last few years. That uh -huh. CE plastic is still kind of fresh. Yeah, it is, isn't it? I think Josh's bag is worth more than the, the three of the, the other guys combined. It, it might be worth uh, an entry-level pro contract in yeah. itself. <laughs> Rick with a fantastic upshot after that, uh, that shank of a drive. And Thomas with a low-ceiling look. He's throwing his, uh, his zone. The OG harp, as I like to call it, uh, comes up a little bit short, Jamie. 
Yeah, he just caught a little tough to grasp, but normally that's the play. Get past these trees you see in front of Josh and let it slide. Oh, no. Sit. Ooh. Spoiler alert, that did not sit. Man. Yeah, so there's Josh down the cliff, if you can see him. He's over there to your right-hand side of your screen. That's seven uh, showing its teeth, Jamie. Yeah, and uh, he knew it, too. He kind of uh-huh. sighed when it happened. Yeah, but good run. You know, like he, like he said in the interview earlier, don't be afraid to take a bogey. Mm-hmm. Just don't take doubles. Yep. Yeah, so here's Manabu coming out of the woods for his two. Comes up just a little bit short. It is dense over there. You're left with some weird looks. Yeah, but if he hits that, you know, you almost start looking at it like he really creates some separation yeah. from this guy right here. And yeah. Manu was good, no doubt, but we don't expect him to be running away with a card like seven this. holes in. So no, Especially not this card. Yeah, Keeps it interesting, at least. We still got two more rounds after this. Yeah, two on seven definitely says something. Uh, here is Thomas going to clean up the par. Our am with a little am side chain out, Jamie. Yeah, and, you know, getting experience. He, he's playing solid. He's just oh, not yeah. playing flashy. Yeah. Um, I mean, he couple, shot six down the final round of Masters Cup and, and week, so. Yeah, he proved he can play, and a lot of the pins were very similar. They didn't shorten it too, too much for mm-hmm. the AMs this year. Yeah. There's Thomas ripping his rock out there. Good smooth form. Yeah. Lanky guy there. Get some good extension on that reach back. No doubt. Monobu still holding it down. Yes. Three down through seven. Awesome. Hole eight. It's a fun one, Jamie. It's, it's reachable with even like a mid. Uh, it's just a straight shot downhill. You get a lot of good glide. Danger here is uh, turning over too much into the, the shul on the right there. And you got the, the road OB left or, or long. Yeah, this is a really weird hole. Uh, and until you're standing on it and, you know, in person, the challenge doesn't fully present itself. Yeah. But if you flare on this green, you will flare all the way into the road yeah. uphill, which is kind of odd. Uh, Ricky's in danger of that here. Yeah, I think he's throwing his peer right there, which is a, a putter. Yeah, that's not a bad play. Yeah. Uh, and a great tree to keep him in bounds. Yeah, you don't want to throw anything really much faster than a mid-range here. Uh, man, with a good line, but low. Uh, that's probably one of his M1s. Yeah, and you see right there how flat his disc hit, and he still tried to flare up to the left. Mm-hmm. Uh, Josh going with the uh, Champ Rock 3. My goodness. Wow. That's a no fear shot right there. Mm-hmm. They, that's a very aggressive line on this hole. It is. Thomas throwing the buzz, I believe. I want to say that's a good tree hit. Yeah. Kept him in bounds. Both tree hits so far. Not been bad for this card. Yep. Uh, Rick's going to be just laying up for his. Well, that's Ricky. He was probably running in it, right? Hey, it's it's inside his range. We'll put it that it way. Is. He could see the basket. It's in his range. Yeah. We'll shout out to the FPO division here. Here's uh, how the ladies are stacking up through eight holes themselves. Tie battle. Uh, there was Thomas. Gave it a go, but going to be taking an A3. Here is Manabu for a two from 50. <laughs> he is officially on fire at this point. Silky smooth. Just a little kick over Annie right there to keep it away. And ooh. Beautiful. Perfect putt. Well done. Those long downhill ones are fun. You just kind of float them. Yeah. And, you know, as smooth as that looked, again, that was aggressive. Look how close that out yeah. of bounds is behind it. No kidding. There's Josh with CTP. Uh-huh. Taking the two. Good Got deuce. Yep. Thomas with the par along with Rick. I'm sure Rick really wanted a two there. It's, one, it's a gettable one. Definitely. Yeah. And uh, no worries, guys. There we are doing 12 holes. Um, we just don't have a scorecard that fits 12 <laughs> holes. It's kind of an odd number, but there are 24 holes on this day Lao layout. As we roll to 8A, uh-huh. the ninth hole, a little turnover shot, a little shorty. Uh-huh. I think we could get this one. Yeah, don't don't ask me how it went for, for me during, on Thursday. <laughs> I say this one, Jamie, it's a two or a five. You, you either hit that gap or you're rolling down a hill and you're struggling. Oh, I remember watching uh, your coverage last year. And yep. It was Ray Johnson, I believe. An eagle, too. An eagle as well. Yeah. I mean, just, yeah, it, it can bite you. It sure can. Um, Manabu came up a little bit short left. He's going to have a look, um, but it's a little bit longer than he wanted. He, uh, Josh, I believe he's ripping a, a Casey Rock right here. Really aggressive line, Jamie. Oh, yeah. He hit the right side of that tree. Just a little grind off the tree there. Uh. <laughs> he had like hit, if he had hit the actual right side of the tree, that might have been trouble. Oh, yeah. That easily could have gone on the hill. I believe Rick's throwing his pier again, that fusion pier, and he peered the line. Hey, P- I see what you did there. P- pardon the pun. Uh, Thomas. 
pretty sure he's going putter here. For a miss, that's not a bad kick. I would say w- the way too early prediction was that was an ace run. Uh huh. Um, that looked really nice. Yeah. It, if it was under that, it was looking really good. Uh, good jump up shot right there. And Manabu from like, well, let's say like 35, maybe 40. Two in a row? Oh my gosh. Where's all the statistics for this? We need the outside the circles, <laughs> the C2s, all that good stuff. Right. There's two in a row for Manabu. Doing work. Uh, Rick cleans up the birdie as well. Uh, here is Thomas to save that par, which after his drive, not not too sad about. Yeah, a little pro side hit there. Mm-hmm. And Josh, three. Josh went just a little bit long, comes back for his two. Uh, three birds right there. It's kind of kind of par for a, for a card. Just three birdies. Yeah, definitely. It's uh, like you said, it's a two or five. It's it's a boomer bust hole. Yeah, and you know, it, that's the thing is a lot of the people on this card are going to attack you know, this little midsection here. So you're kind of forced to because that's the way the course plays at the pro level, but it can also ruin around. And this whole number nine is uh, no exception. Yeah, it's a real fun shot. You can, there's a flex backhand line uh, or there's a, a big hyzer uh, with a forehand. Uh, I feel like the hyzer forehand gets knocked down a little early um, once you get close to the basket. Like it, it's there, you're gonna be close, but you're not gonna be parked with that forehand is what I feel like. Yeah, that line is there because hole ten's fairway is parallel, and yeah. people walking there have made it. But yeah. I think the intended play is this, this shot. right here. Yeah, and I've never seen someone go so long. <laughs> that that was really long. I it, didn't expect that. Yeah, he didn't get that late fade. He needed with that M one, and it just coasted. Uh, Josh going with a, a rock shot right there, and a late tree and kicked him left. Uh, Ricky's going pier again, going putter. That's that's an interesting play. Yeah, there's that soft turnover line, which he kind of hit, but you got to miss those late trees. I hesitate to question the world champ on the decision, but uh, the putter just drops out of the sky real quick. Yeah, he needed that one higher. He had it. He had the line, just needed it higher. And uh, Thomas with a rock shot kicked way left uh, past 10's fairway. Going to try and get out of here, Jamie, but ugh. Yeah. I've been there. Uh, I feel for him. You know, you're playing with a bunch of players who just are a lot higher rated, and the consistency of their shots sometimes makes you want to try to do that same thing. And yeah. it, it's it's tough. Just uh, you got to stay patient on this course. He knows it. It's a, he's a local. Stay patient. Wait for that opportunity. Mm-hmm. Uh, Ricky gave it a bid for two, but came up short. That's Manibu from out of the woods. Uh, Rick coming back for his par. Solid stroke there. Yeah. That's a good cleanup, but that's the nice thing about being Ricky Wysocki is you can just run everything because you're going to make the comebacker, Jamie. Well, and that's, you know, if you're going to critique Ricky's game at all, uh-huh. he gets into trouble off the tee. Yeah. But he's become the best long range putter in the world. Yeah. You know, in order to compensate and mm-hmm. he's able to just play at such a high level because, yeah. of the, because of his putting skills. Yeah, you could say he's struggling off the tee, but he's still under right now. That's true. Yeah. You know. Well, what's the old phrase? You got to say it. <laughs> Drive for, for show, show, putt for dough, no, man. Well, that's what it's at. <laughs> Undoubtedly. Uh, there's Manu with a five down, Jamie. Five down with a bogey. Not Three. too shabby. Through 10 holes. That is really good. Uh, we're on to the 10th hole, which is our 11th hole. Uh, part of three, 347. Jamie, there, there used to be a backhand roller line on this one, but uh, there's, there's a new feature here, which you can, we can see right now is this giant log. Yeah, the... It's an interesting play by the local disc golf club. They, they've sort of adopted some of the fallen trees into obstacles. You yeah. see it on one, you saw it on 8A here on 10. And uh, yeah, it, it makes the forehand the more enticing play. It does, yeah. There's man to be ripping out that D4, which he flicks out there so well. And he comes up uh, pretty much straight on line, just a little bit short. He's going to have a long look at it. Yeah, you got to put it out a little straighter. He Ex- just left his hand too much hyzer exactly uh josh is going back to that champ rock three he's throwing this disc a lot today he is isn't he i mean that's day law you throw your you throw your rock a lot and didn't quite turn that one over enough um he's going to be pin high left uh rick going forehand uh just left it low jamie yeah just a little low but the right line just needed a little higher still in ricky range right no doubt thomas thomas selly one of the funnest names. That was a good looking line. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Pin high. Tiny bit deep. Yeah. Here is Rick. 
Maybe just a layup might might give it a half go. I'll call oh, that a full go. That's that's full go. <laughs> full go. Bring the spin back in for that one. Uh, right there into the chains, catching that pro side. Wow. Maybe that's the wake up for him here. Calm down, Rick. That was huge, baby. <laughs> <laughs> He's such an emotional player. He is, right? Yeah. I believe that was Anton out of the woods. Uh, he's going to make a par. And Manabu with a look from like 50, 60. Oh, almost. I, what can't he do this <laughs> round? <laughs> he can play. Uh, there was Thomas out of the woods. There's Manabu clean up a par. And we got a couple of some par cleanups from uh, Anton and Thomas and uh, Rick. Farthest from the pin, the only one with the two. Wow. Just to, just to snag the box in that fashion, that sends a statement. He said, you know, I may be off to a slow start, but I'm still the defending champ here. I'm still the world champ. Yep. Just Rick things, man. And I still got a dope forehand and an even doper putt. <laughs> that's doper a word? That's, it is now. That was, that was gross, man. Hashtag. Yep. job for me it's fun big ol thanks to Josh for some time yeah thanks to Josh for uh you know he he was ready to get back to the putting green he was he's, he was. he's very motivated <laughs> yeah also big shout out to the PDGA for their support gotta love the guys there they're doing such a great job and supporting the media and the yeah. growth efforts in the sport and nova too man yeah, yeah. oh yeah always we wouldn't be here yep. without them thank go, you guys so go much. sign up for the pga go buy some discs on the whole 11 straight 375 foot tunnel shot with a with a jerk branch in the middle this is uh, this is one of the hardest tee shots mm -hmm. on this course yep um, i'm quaking the hardest when i step up to this one and uh, Rick was too, apparently. He hung that one out a little wide with that pier. Yes, yeah, the second time in uh, the last few holes he's done that. Mm -hmm. You saw Manabu thought he clocked that first tree and just <laughs> barely snuck it. Yeah, it looked like Manabu was throwing his D4, getting aggressive there. And it, can you guess what Josh is throwing right here? Uh, x -Cal? Yeah. Uh, like, who throws an x call this, this this hole? And who gets it that close? Yeah. Okay, I know there's a lot of discs out there. For anybody that doesn't know, the x call <laughs> does not fly that straight. No, it's a very overstable high-speed driver. Unbelievable. And uh, Thomas is going to show you the flex line here, Jamie. Yeah, this is the local play. Uh, you're not going to kick out of bounds. That's the benefit mm -hmm. of that route. Yeah, and it's a somewhat easier par because you if you hit a tree, it's usually later. Uh, Rick going with one of his broken in felons right here. A little hot. Check, check. Ooh. Yeah, he uh, he cooked that one. Not not the usual Waisaki touch on that forehand. No. There. I think he was probably hoping for a little tree hit to, to calm it down, but just did not get it. And Manabu playing a flex forehand from I don't even know how he did this. That split Corey's legs there? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> Nutmeg went five hole. <laughs> Thomas. It'll play off hockey. That is appropriate. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> Thomas catch a little tree on the upshot. Going to have a longer par look that he wants. And here's Rick. Has no business even trying to make this. Oh, but he almost does anyway. <laughs> almost does anyway. What, two inches short? Yeah, and that's the thing about this hole. You know, it's... Uh, it forces you to throw really hard when you just want to, mm -hmm. you know, kind of smooth one. Yeah, you got to make it go straight. Uh, Thomas, a little weak side chain out there. Here is Josh, 482, Jamie. This is a stroke on almost the field. Yes. Ooh. Yeah, spin this back. I want to see how this bounces in. Very carefully. A little Anheuser putt to the pro side. Signature Anton. The signature. Not about the pro side, but the... <laughs> Whoa, what about that little double hop off yeah. the cage there? He's back. He is back. You Loved heard it, it here first. Yep. Ian Anderson called it. <laughs> I'm Josh down. Anton is back. Manabu for the par save, which after that drive would be absolutely amazing. Uh, oh, he knew it right out of his hand, he too. He did, yeah. Rare miscue for Manabu. That was, I'm, I'm sure he was thinking he was going to make that one. A little awkward lie. 
You don't get backyard putts at Dela. No, not at all. And you know, the true test of Dela is not if you bogey, it's when you bogey, what do you do right after it? Mm-hmm. Yep. So I'll put, uh, speaking of bogeys, there is Thomas for one. Come on, AM champ. We're rooting for you. Yeah. Great kid. Easy to root for. R- r- yeah, r- absolutely. Really well-spoken. <laughs> yeah. Really nice guy. And here's Rick from, I don't even know where he was. Not, not a whole lot of error on that. That almost went right in and still pretty tight, you know, uh-huh. four is for Kajiyama and Anton. Ricky's one back and the focus. Meanwhile, spoiler alert, in case you haven't heard, uh-huh. McBeast mode oh. is activating. Oh my goodness. Maybe for the first real time this whole season, you know, Paul's starting to slay this course. I think uh, his caddy, uh, John Tompkins for Supreme Flight, he might have some caddy footage. So go it's already check up on out. YouTube, yeah. Yeah, if you want to see that 1100 rated round he threw down today. Wow. But if you want to come back, check us out. Ian and I are going to be back on the back 12. First round feature card, Masters Cup in Santa Cruz. Rick knows a lot of golf left to play. Yep. See you guys on the back 12. <laughs>